Hi everyone. I'm going to talk about a project that I worked on nearly a year ago now, it's been a long time, for pricing options using either the Black-Scholes options pricing model or the Heston model, which is an improvement on Black-Scholes. What we're looking at here to get started is a couple plots detailing how options are priced across the two accounts and the total returns of the accounts. The real key graph is in the bottom right. Account 0 is Black-Scholes, which we'll describe and account one is Heston, which we'll describe. And these are trading on the two different geometric Brownian motion uh, asset underlying uh, price simulators, where geometric Brownian motion just means it looks like a stock in the stock market, bouncing around randomly. So let's get into it. We can hop over to the code, actually, actually let's hop over to my GitHub repo. Here in the GitHub repo, this is just um, how I have the code set up. Main is really the driver of everything. I initialize some top-level constants, create a simulated market, uh, my assets, my pricing models, and then I go ahead and simulate. The general flow of this main function is initialize some simulated assets that these are our stocks that we're simulating, create pricing models to price on these assets, assign accounts to these models uh, so we can track their performance over time, and then we actually analyze the performance. Now, let's go into the code. Right here, uh, we initialize a simulated market, and if we hop into it, it's just a lot of boilerplate code that basically just says, time step the market, propagate forward uh, continually through time the prices of the underlying assets, and allow trades to be made on these assets. We initialize our pricing models. We get a Black-Scholes pricing model where the price is just directly taken out of the formula for calculating the price of an option using the Black-Scholes model. You can see it's uh, a lot of math. It's very archaic when you just look at it all grouped together. But Black-Scholes is honestly, it's uh, really understandable. If you just sit down and you read through it, uh, Investopedia has uh, great stuff. If you just Google, you know, uh, Black-Scholes pricing, pricing. Um, we find our Investopedia. Uh, this is how, you know, I onboarded. And somewhere we can find just the formula for pricing a call um, using Black-Scholes. And it just falls straight out of the formula, right? This is some measure of basically we take volatility of an asset in the past to predict how risky an asset will be in the future in order to price our option appropriately. Black-Scholes was groundbreaking when it was first released, and it's honestly quite groundbreaking even today. The Heston model is basically just Black-Scholes with some modifications, where Investopedia also has a fantastic article talking about the Heston model and how you can use it to price options and its uh, pros and cons. Now let's go back to the code here. Uh, we can price an option uh, using the Black-Scholes method, like I said. Uh, this is just, you know, uh, implementing the math. Let's bounce out. And we have uh, has to model pricing, which takes a few more parameters. You can see uh, these are just parameters specific to the model. Uh, things such as the long-term volatility that an asset will have, uh, how fast the, we should expect to revert to the mean volatility, our initial volatility, and some other miscellaneous parameters. And then the Hest model is really just priced uh, using a, a raw Heston pricing model that honestly, like, uh, you know, it's pretty complicated, the entire proof, but QuantPy on YouTube does a great job. Uh, QuantPy on YouTube does a great job talking about how you can derive uh, the Heston model and how you can implement it for yourself. So uh, this stuff, it's dense, takes a long time to get into your head, but at the end of the day, it's just an equation. And if you can get an equation, you can turn it into code. So that's what we did here. Uh, we just generate a call price, put price, and we return the call price since we're interested, specifically selling call options for the sake of our analysis. And we return that. And then we go ahead and pass in our simulated assets and our pricing models. We simulate them in the market, track them, uh, registering the accounts as necessary, and then we go ahead and plot it. So running the code, we have to wait for it to finish because it's simulating a market and I don't have the code that optimized. 
Uh, in a second, we're going to see a graph pop up here. And this right here is what we're looking at at the beginning. We can see that the two accounts overall, uh, similar performance, the Heston model has lost a little bit of money. Black Scholes has remained relatively cash neutral. Uh, hopefully, you know, returns to zero means that we have correctly implemented a risk neutral pricing for our options, which is ideally what we want to do because sometimes, right, in order to make money uh, selling options, you add a premium on top of the under the base risk premium for an option, and that's how you extract value. You price the option a little higher than the risk premium suggests that you do because you take a little bit off the top. You skim a little bit off the top. And people who believe they have knowledge with the underlying movements of assets, will uh, they will expect to pay this premium because they think they have some sort of hedge, right? Uh, or the option itself is just a hedge. Uh, they have an edge or the option itself is a hedge. So this is a lot of information. And of course, it's a bit archaic. I can't really get too deep into the weeds. Of course, I recommend, you know, looking at QuantPy uh, for an actual in-depth explanation on how the Heston model works. Investopedia is a great place to learn about Black Shoals and pricing options using volatility models. And that's it. Thank you.